An osteon is something that helps make up compact bone. As you can see, an osteon is one single piece of the puzzle that helps contribute to making bone so strong. When you zoom in closer to a single osteon, you notice that there are two major features, the lacunae and the lamellae. The lamellae are the concentric layers that make up an osteon. They're similar to tree rings when you examine the cross section of a tree stump. The lacunae lie within the lamellae and they are the housing for the osteocytes. One other structure I should mention is the central canal. The central canal runs lengthwise through the bony matrix, and it ranges from 25 to 100 micrometers. The central canal carries blood vessels and nerves to all areas of the body. Blood vessels are responsible for carrying oxygen and nutrients to the bone, while the nerves are responsible for feeling things. This is why it hurts when you break a bone. All right, back to the lacunae. Like I said, lacunae are the housing for the osteocytes. Osteocytes are bone cells, and there are two types of them, osteoclasts and osteoblasts. To make this easier to understand, I made a simple analogy. Long ago in the land of osteocyte, there was a huge uproar among the people because of all of the injustice that was taking place amongst the government. This uproar divided the people of osteocyte into two separate groups, the osteoclasts and the osteoblasts. The osteoclasts were bone-destroying. They were tearing apart the government and shutting it down for good. However, the osteoblasts stepped in, and they are the bone-forming people, so they help try to rebuild the government. The last major structure is the canaliculi. They are tiny canals that connect the lacunae. The canaliculi act as a transport system that allow oxygen to get to the lacunae. In the land of osteocyte, the osteoclasts and the osteoblasts live in their little lacunae huts, and the canaliculi act as transport systems like little telephone wires.